Hello everyone. Today, we'll be exploring atomoxetine, commonly known by its brand name, Stratera. This discussion is intended for educational purposes only. For any health-related questions or concerns, please consult a medical professional. Description Atomoxetine, marketed under the brand name Stratera, is an oral medication classified as a selective norepinephrine reuptake inhibitor, SNRI. It's primarily used for the treatment of attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, ADHD, in both children and adults. Atomoxetine works by affecting certain chemicals in the brain that contribute to hyperactivity and impulse control, helping to increase attention and decrease impulsiveness and hyperactivity in patients with ADHD. It is not a stimulant like some other ADHD medications and is often prescribed as an alternative for patients who do not respond well to stimulant therapy. Warnings Atomoxetine has several important warnings. It should not be used in patients with narrow-angle glaucoma, an adrenal gland tumor, heart disease or coronary artery disease, or severe heart or blood vessel problems. Atomoxetine can increase the risk of suicidal thoughts or actions in children and teenagers, especially within the first few months of treatment or when the dose is changed. It's crucial to monitor any new or worsening symptoms of mood, behavior, thoughts, or feelings. Additionally, this medication can cause severe liver damage, and patients should be alert for symptoms such as itching, right upper abdominal pain, dark urine, jaundice, or unexplained flu-like symptoms. Before taking this medicine Before starting atomoxetine, it's essential to inform your healthcare provider about any allergies you may have to this medication. Discuss your medical history, especially if you have a history of heart problems, high or low blood pressure, liver disease, or mental health issues like depression, bipolar disorder, or psychosis. It's also important to tell your doctor if you have a family history of suicide, bipolar illness, or depression. Atomoxetine may not be suitable for people who have an adrenal gland tumor, heart disease, or heart defects, problems with circulation, or narrow-angle glaucoma. If you are pregnant, planning to become pregnant, or are breastfeeding, consult with your healthcare provider before starting this medication. Side Effects Atomoxetine can cause various side effects. Common side effects include stomach pain, nausea, vomiting, constipation, loss of appetite, weight loss, dry mouth, a bitter or unusual taste in your mouth, cough, voice changes, or trouble sleeping. However, more serious side effects may also occur, such as new or worsening symptoms of aggression, hostility, paranoia, or unusual behaviors. There's also a risk of liver problems, heart problems, increased blood pressure, and urinary problems. If you experience any serious side effects, such as chest pain, shortness of breath, lightheadedness, hallucinations, or painful or difficult urination, seek medical attention immediately. Interactions Atomoxetine can interact with various medications, so it's crucial to inform your doctor about all medications, supplements, and herbal products you're currently taking. Special attention should be given to MAO inhibitors, asthma medications, blood pressure medications, and antidepressants, as they can cause interactions. Dosage The dosage of atomoxetine is based on your medical condition, response to treatment, and other medications you may be taking. Follow your doctor's instructions carefully. It's usually taken once or twice daily, with or without food. Starting doses and maintenance doses can vary, and your doctor may adjust your dose to find the one that is best for you. Avoid While taking atomoxetine, Patients are advised to avoid activities that require alertness until they know how the medication affects them, as it can cause dizziness or drowsiness. Alcohol should be avoided as it can increase certain side effects of the medication. FAQ Many people ask about the age suitability of atomoxetine. It is approved for use in children, adolescents, and adults with ADHD. However, it's important to discuss with your healthcare provider to determine if it's the right medication for you or your child. Closing. This concludes our overview of atomoxetine, or Stratera. Remember, this information is for educational purposes and should not substitute for professional medical advice. Always consult with a healthcare provider for any specific medical queries or concerns. Thank you for joining us.